Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today what I have in store for you is a yummy dish made of soya sauce and uh, this soya sauce would have would be coating these uh, little fish called Indian mackerel. So this soya sauce based dish would basically taste well salty because it has soya sauce but soya sauce also has a caramel caramelly kind of a taste and it will have some uh, you know Asian herbs and so on which uh, would infuse those uh, Southeast Asian uh, flavors into it so join me to see the ingredients right now so these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using today uh, this of course is the star of the dish um, this is Indian mackerel and these are little fish uh, I think about four little fish that I have cut in half so if you can see I've cut this in half and I've made some little strips, uh, little slits in the fish so you know um, whatever marinade would uh, would get into the fish as well so this is the head and this is the body and I have marinated this um, these four little fish in uh, uh, salt and turmeric so it has been marinating for about an hour or so you can just marinate it for about half an hour that's fine as well so the rest of the ingredients would basically be one large or two medium sized onions that I have sliced and then I have about two uh, a two inch piece of ginger uh, where I peeled and cut half so it's just half of that two inch piece and I have julienned it like this right and then I have about three cloves of garlic that I've chopped and then I've got this um, lemongrass I'm just going to show I, I will show you in a bit how uh, how you know what you do with this lemongrass so that's lemongrass, just one, one stalk. And then I have, by the way, um, lemongrass is kind of, uh, this, is, this is the part, this is the base of the plant. And then you have, you know, the top, which is the leaf. So this base is the part that is fragrant and it has, uh, you know, the flavor and so on. So the, it grows like long weeds or long grass on the top. That part we, don't, we can't eat. So basically it's this part that is um, you know you can put into food and so on so what I will be doing is basically just you know pounding it a little bit so it, it the flavor infuses into the food okay and this is about a quarter carrot that I've julienned as well and this is just about uh, maybe a small uh, uh, red chili that I've also uh, cut in little strips like this and besides that Turmeric powder, optional, if only if you want to use it. I seem to be using it all the time. Salt. And then this is thick soya sauce of any... You have many kinds of soya sauce. You have the thinner version. or the, It's called light soya sauce. And this one is the thick soya sauce. Well, it's, it's written in Malay, in Bahasa Malaysia, um, which is my national language. Uh, so this is... Pakat means thick. So it's a dark soya sauce or thick soya sauce. And then I have some oil. Um, and I'm going to put in a little bit of jaggery. You can use sugar as well. So that is also um, up to you. What I would do with this lemongrass is basically give it a pound. I can't do it over here because this is my uh, glass stove top. So I'm not going to do it over here. So basically, I would do this and uh, so this the and crush the the base of the lemongrass a little bit. So that would basically infuse all the flavors into the sauce. So I've, chopped, I've cut off the top as well and basically after giving it one big whack or a pound, this is how it looks like. As for the fish, I just want to kind of like, uh, you know, uh, sear the outsides of the fish. So you can either grill it a little bit or uh, grill it for a few minutes or you could uh, shallow fry it in a pan just so that the outsides are a little seared. So, you know, it's a nice and firm that way. So when it goes into the sauce, it's a lot nicer. So what I'm going to do in, in this case, I am going to basically use an air fryer to, to do my uh, shallow frying. So I'm just going to put some oil. I have lined my air fryer and uh, let me just get back to you. So I've washed my hands. Now I'm just going to put these in, uh, one, uh, in one layer. Once I put them all in, I will just spray on some oil and then, uh, you know, turn it around after that because I want both sides to have some oil. So, yeah, 
Now I'm going to basically spray some oil on the fish. And then I'm going to turn it around. The oil had you know touched the top of this part, so I'm going to just turn turn the fish around so it doesn't you know stick. So okay, now everything has been kind of laid down properly. And then I'm going to okay now this one should spray out, but it's not just coming out in a single line, so you know, not too great, but it doesn't matter. It still does the job. Um, I need to wash my hands, guys. Okay, so this is how it will look like. And now I'm going to put it in the air fryer and just put it in for a few minutes. So the fish is in the air fryer now. It's on, on a 200 degrees Celsius. I'm going to air fry it on one side for about five minutes and then turn it around and air fry it on the other side for about five minutes as well. Let's see if that's enough, okay? So while that while that's happening, let's just uh, start with our sauce. So I'm going to put the gin. This is hot oil in here, and into the hot oil goes some the ginger. And the garlic. And the lemon grass. Basically, just let it uh, turn a little bit brown let the color turn to a little bit of a brown shade and then i'm going to add the other ingredients the chilies and the carrot so that's turning brown already and i'm just going to add the chilies first turn the heat down a little bit the carrots go in that's a little bit this is a very simple sauce actually just a little sauce to pour over the fish and now the onions let this sort of uh, soften a little bit and um, then we will add some water so let this sort of let it um, saute and soften so this is how it looks like now all nice and softened you, oh gosh. you can add your turmeric powder now as well but you know you don't have to i'm going to just add a little bit just a pinch about a quarter teaspoon and then i'm going to add the salt about half a teaspoon i'm going to add some water in a bit i have a cup of water here now i'm going to put the basically turn off the heat now and add about yeah, the whole cup. So this is, I've added one cup of water and then turn on the heat. This is, the reason I keep turning off and turning on this stove is because it's electric and I can't, unlike um, a gas stove, um, you can't play around with the heat as easily. So now the heat is up again and while it sort of, you know, um, gets to that heat again, let me I think I need to add a little bit more water. So, half cup of water. So, basically, I've added one and a half cups of water. In goes the tablespoon, a tablespoon of soya sauce. This one you've got to be careful a little because sometimes you can add way too much. So, I don't want it to be like, you know, absolutely black. Not what I'm going for. I think this is this is enough. So let this cook and let the sauce thicken. I'm not going to. Sometimes you can add a little corn flour uh, diluted in water and pour it in so that the sauce thickens nicely. But I'm not really going to do that because I feel all these sauces like these already has um, you know thickeners inside. So I'm not going to do that. Now I'm going to add a little bit of jaggery, about a half a teaspoon, and let this sauce thicken on its own. So I'm going to, I'm going to put the lid on and let it close, and let it uh, thicken just for about a minute. So this is how the fish looks. It has been cooking for uh, 
10 minutes on one side so that it, it's not five guys so it's 10 minutes and i'm going to put it for maybe just another five minutes on the other side or even 10 so all together it would be either 15 minutes all in all or it would be um, 20 minutes for the fish to get slightly seared on the outside so now i've turned up turned all of it and i'm going to put it in for another i think i'll go with 10 minutes yeah so that's how it looks and i'm going to put this in and let it air fry for another for another 10 minutes so all together 20 minutes so the sauce is uh, cooking quite well over here you can add chili powder if you want an indian twist you can add oyster sauce for more flavor i'm not going to do that because i don't really like too much of sauce so I'm, I actually added another uh, half teaspoon of salt in here but that's about it I'm going to leave it like this and once the fish is done I'm going to put it in here and let it cook a little bit more so the fish the fish is done and the sauce has also thickened all I have to do now is put the fish this one over here and let it cook for a minute and basically this will be done I'm going to put all the pieces of fish inside. Give it a little stir. So the pieces are all coated. And the sauce. Make sure you don't break it. <laughs> let this cook for a bit just look at that doesn't it look yummy now i'm just going to cook this for a few minutes for about a minute and it's done thank you so much everyone for joining me today i do hope you enjoyed this session uh do try this dish at home and uh if you like my videos share my videos give me a like and please do subscribe Thank you so much, everybody. Here's Shakila Shanbogam signing off. Bye, guys.